Okay, welcome to Stampscaping 101. This is just a quick video on uh, the spraying of some completed scenes with some Krylon uh, UV resistant clear. It's an acrylic coating that you can coat your uh, scenes with to help kind of protect them. It doesn't make them light fast, but the UV helps a little bit, you know, in terms of fading, but it's not going to make them completely light fast and uh, your pieces, you know, completely uh, protected from fading should you display these types of things out in the sun or something like that or you know on a refrigerator or something like that kept out over time they will fade but it helps protect them a little bit but it really brings out the uh, saturation of tones you know um, uh, that you might lay down on uh, either glossy or matte paper and uh, it really just uh, brings out the uh, the full saturation of those inks and uh, it really gives it a really good look um, I'm using a Krylon Crystal Clear with this kind of holder right here. This holder really is uh, convenient for spray painting and uh, for your acrylic sprays. And you just switch this out from can to can as you get them. So, really fun look, and it really makes your uh, pieces come alive. Okay, let's take a look and see what these uh, scenes look like after they are sprayed with some Krylon. UV resistant clear. We'll see if they can get uh, a little bit more saturated, um, kind of akin to uh, freshly stamped scene. Let me see if I can get this in here so we can see the difference. Hold it at about, about 12 inches, you know, from your, your piece so that you don't spray a, a big glob of it and kind of use a, your standard uh, kind of a swiping motion, you know. Uh, that you use with the spray paints. Okay, now see, I've kind of gone up in this area right here. Let's see if we can see a difference here from one side to the next. These are equal in value, but this seems a little bit darker and more saturated, I think. Let's get both sides now. Yeah. Okay, I think the uh, intensity and uh, richness has come out again as these scenes looked kind of more as if they were freshly stamped with uh, your wet inks. Okay, let's move on to some other pieces. Okay, this one is from my most recent video. It looks pretty saturated still, but uh, it's lost a little bit of the uh, the vibrancy of the uh, kind of freshly stamped look. But now, where I have the pigment ink around in these areas and around some of these little spheres, I have to be careful that I don't spray it too thick in one coating, otherwise I'll lose that look kind of that frosty look, which can be reapplied over the top of this, but uh, it's better just to kind of retain it from the beginning. So you hit it from a little bit more distance in a very thin coat and allow that to dry and set up. And it just requires a few seconds, but take a look up here in the corners right here. I think I can get those areas a lot darker. See that right there? This side. I won't hit it too much in the middle there because I want to retain a lot of that kind of frosted look. Okay, let's take a look here. You can take a look at that uh, saturation there on the edges and throughout there, and that spraying is where you really uh, bring out some of the. Uh, layering that has occurred with the uh, multiple uh, transparent tones of uh, the dye based inks. Okay, another bird scene from a recent video. I don't have too much uh, pigment ink on here, so i kind of spray away. Let's hit one side of it. Let's see if we can do a little there's some contrast. Okay. 
See that right there, the difference between this side and this side. It's a little bit more saturated over here. And when it gets more saturated, it gets darker. It's really fun watching these uh, kind of scenes there, uh, where the colors really come alive in terms of the intensity of the piece. And spraying like that. Okay. Looks pretty good. It's the great equalizer between uh, the different paper brands and uh, brands of ink. So when you just spray it like that, it really brings out the uh, kind of the desired look as far as the uh, usage of the uh, glossy paper goes. Okay, the Aurora Borealis. This one can really use a coating of the spray. There's a lot of glare on this from shooting this right now, so down here it's not nearly as light as it looks in the, the camera frame, but uh, let's see if we can see a difference. I'll spray it up here and then spray the, uh, the bottom half. We'll see if we can kind of see it kind of come alive. Can you see the difference right there? Yeah, you can kind of see the difference between here and here. Now let's watch this area right here transform. And that's much more akin to uh, what it looked like when it was freshly stamped, okay? Can you see this area down here? It's really uh, kind of a little bit anemic looking. And kind of revived. And it probably looks even better than what it looked like when it was newly stamped, too, because the uh, saturations just become much more extreme like this. Okay. See that beautiful uh, saturation of uh, layered tones in here, and it really makes this area kind of glow nicely. Okay, anyways, that is that. There's some good um, layered colors in here, and now they are kind of uh, being displayed in their kind of ideal um, kind of incarnation as far as their transparency uh, and vibrancy goes. So uh, really fun to uh, spray these scenes and uh, kind of put that, I guess this is really the uh, kind of the finishing touches that uh, one can do on a, on a piece. It's not only just to bring that uh, saturation around again, but it also uh, kind of seals and protects your pieces. And, uh, you know, depending on the relative humidity is, you know, how long it takes for these to dry. But these ones right here shouldn't take too long. Um, I give it, uh, I don't know, right now about 10 minutes or something like that. And they are good to go.